In today's video, we're going to talk about some cool and interesting Blender courses. This will hopefully teach you how to make realistic looking environment art, how to create game environments for mobile and VR games, and how to create a medieval town environment. And at the end, we'll go over an additional training that will help you a lot. So make sure to stick around. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first course we have for today is a complete introduction to environment art creation with Blender. It is a step-by-step -step guide to the entire process of realistic environment creation, which spans over 25 hours of content. You'll be able to see how to combine different tools and software in order to create the best looking environment that can be used in video games or animation projects. The interesting thing is, the training can be followed with all major modeling software, such as Blender, Max or Maya, so you can choose the tools that you are most comfortable with and use your 3D package of choice. The common software that you will use in conjunction with this 3D software is Unreal Engine 5 to build and bring your 3D assets to the final environment. The instructor will show you different modeling techniques such as modeler asset creation, high to low poly asset creation, and sculpted asset creation. He will also go through how to do UV unwrapping and baking of the models in addition to creating procedural materials using Substance Designer and create some cool looking textures with Substance Painter. And near the end, you will move into Unreal Engine 5 in order to see how to set up assets, create materials and decals, lighting, level art and compositing, and you will wrap everything up by learning how to make the final touches and polish everything up using Photoshop. In case you're wondering, this is made for complete beginners, meaning you don't need a lot of previous knowledge of any software mentioned earlier in order to learn and follow along with the course. Now, did you know that mobile games are still on the rise and they represent over 50% of the overall gaming market? So if you want to get into the game development world, either to be a planner, a 3D modeler, character artist, a coder, or you probably want to know one or a couple of things about mobile game development, then this is the right place for you. Because we got you this amazing course that will teach you everything about the process of creating environments that can be used in mobile games and VR games. You'll be using different software during the process, such as Blender and ZBrush, where you'll be doing all the modeling. The materials and textures will be created using Substance Painter. In addition, you will learn how to use Unreal Engine to do level art, lighting, and compositing. This training is not very long, and it will take you only 10 hours to go over. Each step of the process will be shown to you and everything will be explained in detail. You will first get to know how to do the blackout stage. Then you will see how to create high and low poly models, bake them, and do some texture creation. Finally, you will go over the final touches by assembling everything together in the environment doing the lighting and decoration setup, and you will be doing all of that using Unreal Engine. The course is dedicated to people who already have some basic knowledge of 3D modeling software. So if you have never touched any modeling software before, I recommend that you watch some introduction tutorials to help you follow along the course. Moving on, we have an interesting course about environment creation. This one will show you how to create a stylized medieval town environment that can be used in pretty much anything. And similar to the last two courses, you will also be learning and using multiple software. You will first start with project planning and the blocking out stage, in addition to modeling some buildings using Blender with the modular techniques. You will then start using ZBrush to sculpt some details, and also sculpt some wood and concrete assets, which is interesting. After that, you will move to Unreal Engine where you will learn all about the different tools of the software. And the interesting thing, you will be using Lumen and Nanite. The instructor will show you how to use Nanite with some modified traditional workflows to get higher quality models. And Lumen will be used to add lighting and illuminate your scenes properly. And then you will use Substance Painter and Designer to create some cool looking textures for your models, which is necessary in this stage. And you will finish everything by going back to Unreal Engine 5 to do some post effects. Also add actual geometry displacement on the modular assets and do some level art. The course is the longest in this list. And it will take you over 29 hours to finish watching all the video content. Because it is rich and has a lot of information. 
and like the first one, this one also is best suited for beginners because everything is explained in detail so everyone can understand. So guys, if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this, like courses, add-ons, and general information about 3D. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.